Hi budget babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, I am so excited you guys to talk about what we're going to talk about today. Before we get started with anything, I just want to say thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers? How did I get so so blessed to have 2,000 subscribers? 2,000 budget babes and budget bros supporting my channel so thank you guys so so much thank you guys to everybody that allowed me to do their um budgets and all that good stuff if you're new here guys my name is julia creations i am a budget coach that specializes helping clients um set up their budget to reach their financial goals whether it's paying off debt building their savings buying them homes buying your dream car whatever it is so in today's video you guys i did not i'm not like really in the space to record you guys so that's why i'm like a little jittery but i wanted to get this video out because i promised you guys this video and i do have a giveaway that i'm going to do during this video so make sure you guys watch the full video so you can know how to um enter in the giveaway and i'm gonna show what we're gonna be giving away in a minute which i'm so excited about but in this video we're gonna be talking about five things that you can do now so you are prepared for the new year 2025 is coming up so quick and i feel like there's some things we can adjust that would just make you know going into the new year really really nice and make you feel confident especially if you are just now starting your financial journey so i'm gonna give you five good tips that you're gonna want to bring in here and then make sure you guys are watching this full video so you can see what you need to get in this giveaway Guys, ignore my skin it is breaking off so bad i was a little self-conscious when i was making this video but i don't care we're gonna get it posted because it's gonna help somebody and my skin will clear up in probably a week and it won't matter. So anywho, you guys, we're going to go through and talk about tip one. Tip one, of course, you guys will be like, Julia, we already know this. You talk about this every single time. It's all over your YT channel. Paycheck breakdown budgets, you guys. Paycheck breakdown budgets. Say it with me. Paycheck breakdown budgets. Those are going to be a lifesaver moving up just in the next few weeks. You need to be setting up a bi-weekly or weekly paycheck if, budget. If you can see what you're bringing in each week, what's going out, you can feel more confident when it comes to setting up your financial goals. I honestly think most of my clients are not comfortable with monthly budgets. Monthly budgets can feel overwhelming. Paycheck breakdown, you guys. Paycheck. I can't stress it enough. There's so many examples on my YouTube channel on how to set up a weekly budget, a bi-weekly, and you can actually see split bills, make yourself feel like at ease. Sometimes you guys have so much going on in one paycheck and you don't see that, so it always feels like you just, you're barely getting by each week. Do a, a, a paycheck breakdown, you guys. It's gonna change your life. Make a payday routine. You don't have to do it every single, um, you know, you, can, you don't have to do it at the beginning of the month. You can do it every single time you get paid set up a paycheck breakdown i cannot stress that enough you guys set it up is going to help you so much and another thing that i want to emphasize on the paycheck breakdown you guys it takes about three months three months to really establish a budget and feel comfortable with your budget and really start to see results your first two months are going to be a little bit of a trial era period. And the reason why I say that is because you're dipping your feet into something you've never done before. So if we start now, imagine if you're trying to start January 1st, think about all the stuff you could have been done. You could have already had this being a habit for you if you start now versus starting later. So paycheck breakdowns, I highly recommend them. Just get organized with the doing that, you guys. It, it takes not even that long to set up a budget and just see what you're bringing in. Think about all your bills that come out. And if you don't wanna use a whole template, of course, I sell budget planners. I, I, will, I will hope you will look into them to see if it will help you. Um, but if you don't wanna do a full planner, Use your calendar and just mark out all your bills and your paydays and highlight your paychecks and what bills will be covered with each paycheck. You're going to see a big difference in your financial life doing that. So now let's go to tip number two. So the next tip that I want to talk about, you guys, which is my favorite because I um, told myself at the beginning of the year I was going to do this and I did and I just, I feel so relieved. I'm talking about credit card um utilization points like using your now i'm not gonna say credit card utilization points but you points from your credit card you guys i cannot stress this enough leave that cash alone especially if you have already kind of been consistent with budgeting and you can start using your credit cards and paying them off and you know you're disciplined to do it you guys 
please, please, please. The point system, the cashback systems are just so amazing. You're getting money for things you were already spending. I can't stress that enough, y'all. I cannot stress that enough. Like, please, budget babes, take advantage of that. Stop using cash for your day-to-day -day purchases. Please use a credit card. Find you a credit card that you really, really like. I do have a video of my credit card history and the credit card that I recently just got. And it's been a few, what, a month and a half. And I love that credit card so much. I'm going to put the video right here if you guys want to watch it to see which credit card that I did invest in that I love so, so much. So, guys, please, please, if you can, if you can start that habit now, those debit cards ain't giving you no points back. The cash ain't giving you no points back, you guys. Please, please, please look into it and decide a new credit card before the new year. Why don't you, you know, if you're disciplined and you've paid off your debt, if you already have 12 credit cards open, no, I do not want you to open another credit card, you guys. Only, only if it's that time where you feel confident and, you know, you feel like more disciplined and you're able to do this method, I recommend it so much. You guys, I'm so sad. I thought this video was that part was recording and it didn't, but we're going to go into tip number three, which is my favorite tip. And I really want you guys to listen to me on this one. Holidays, holiday shopping, no debt going into the new year because of the holidays. It is currently about to be September. Put money aside. You remember we were just talking about those paycheck breakdowns? Put a small portion of money aside and think about the gifts you're giving. If you're not having a lot of money left over after your paychecks, it's totally no more, you guys. You're trying to figure out, you know, finances. Make sure you just put in a small portion aside. Think about all the people you want to get gifts for. I always recommend trying to save for the holidays holidays during the year and just putting it in a high yield savings account fo folder and your sinking funds and that way you're prepared but please guys do not go into debt this this holiday trying to get gifts start preparing now start thinking about your gifts your budget for that and putting it away each month small contribute so that way you're going into the new year without maxing out credit cards to get christmas gifts please you guys i cannot stress that enough please 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 don't do that um please please you guys i'm begging you i'm i know i'm like you guys will be like julia please uh, but yeah guys i just i have so many clients that go into debt during the holiday season because i want it to be the perfect holiday if you could start saving now even putting ten dollars away from each check just do it so that way you're not overwhelmed if you put in a high yield savings account by the time november gets here you would have already earned interest on it so go ahead and get that started you guys all right you guys so tip number four slides into kind of what i was talking about for this sinking funds so if you have not opened a high yield savings account what are you waiting for you guys let's start opening the high yield savings account i know that the span you may be putting small portions in there but guys your regular bank account you're not earning anything on it let's get those high yield savings accounts opened up let's do savings automatic transfers from your paycheck if you're doing the paycheck breakdown like i mentioned before at the end of each paycheck even if it's ten dollars have it go in an automatic check or automatic savings account high yield savings account there's so many to choose from i have the one that i personally use in my um link tree so if you guys want to check it out it is in my bio on my youtube um you don't have to use the one i use i always tell you guys I put my recommendations out there, but it's up to you to decide what you feel comfortable with. I never want you to feel pressured that you have to do something just because I say it's the best or go do it. No, figure out what works best for you and will have you be consistent. If you want to go to a credit union, if you feel like that would be a better, you know, situation for you, go for that. If you feel like that will help you feel more organized, go for it. But we want to be taking money after each check and just putting a high yield savings account. And if you're doing this, moving forward by next year you can have a holiday sinking funds in the high yield savings account and basically be buying gifts for free you would be buying gifts for free it'd be all your money from your high yield savings account so that's tip number four you guys so opening your high yield savings account if you haven't so we already went over setting up your paycheck breakdown which goes hand in hand setting up a budget um your credit cards try to start using your credit cards instead of cash if you're disciplined and then um saving for the holidays so we're not going into debt for the holidays putting money in our savings in a high yield savings so we're earning interest on it and then um before we get into the last tip here i'm going to talk about what we're going to do for the giveaway and what i'm going to be giving away and then i'm gonna give you guys the final tip so you guys before we get into like the last tip I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be giving away today, which I am so, so excited. I just want to show gratitude for hitting 2,000 subscribers, you guys. I don't really think you guys understand, like, how grateful I am um, just for this milestone. When I made this channel, 
it was to try to help people learn how to budget, get their finances on track. And I never thought my community would build the way it is. And now people may be like, there's only 2,000 subscribers. I don't care. I'm grateful for every single person that watches my video, supports me. And this is going to be a smaller um, giveaway, but this is going to be a good giveaway. So what I want to do to give back, if you guys don't know, I just recently dropped my own line of iPad pens or stylists. We'll call them stylists. Um that go with iPad. So if you guys don't know, every time I do budgets, I either use my physical planner or I use my digital planner. And I'm just so grateful for all the support I have been given and just, I wanna give away these stylists to, to three budget babes. So we're gonna be giving away one of each color. Um, I'm gonna show a picture on the screen. I'm not gonna open these up, but they're beautiful. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what they look like. And then I'm also going to be giving away, I just got some more of my glitter highlighters in. So what I'm gonna do is pair um, the iPad pen and a glitter highlighter together. So we'll be giving away to three lucky winners, um, some highlighters and some stylists. I'm so excited so you guys will have some new stuff to make your budgeting fun because you guys know that's what my brand stands for, making it fun, tolerable. So I'm so excited, you guys. To give these away so um i'm gonna give away i'm gonna tell you guys what the instructions are very soon after i do my last tip and i can't wait so thank you guys just so much so much so much so much i still just want to show so much you got it too so thank you and budget bros this may not be you know you know masculine for you guys but still super cute so if you win one or you want to still do the giveaway you can give it to a family member or keep it for yourself who cares these are pretty items so i'm gonna um we're gonna do the last tip and then we're gonna talk about the um giveaway instructions so the last tip of this five part tip that we talked about you guys is getting a budget coach. You already know I was coming. You already knew I was coming. So you guys, this isn't to just like promote my my work, but it is at the same time because I've had clients that have made so much prog progress in the span of 3 months, 4 or 5 months by just doing a consultation or just getting their budget done on my live streams on TikTok, you guys, I cannot stress it enough. I'm going to put some examples of some clients that have recently paid off some debt and some results that are crazy. So if you have not booked a one-on-one -on -one consultation, you guys, it is not scary. It will help you. You will be so far along. These last four or five months, imagine what we can do if we get you a budget plan set up now. So you don't have to do it alone, guys. You don't have to be alone. Like, Look at these clients' results. Look at these clients that are paying off debt and reaching their goals. So if you have not booked a consultation with me, you need to book one. You need to book one, you guys. You need to book one. Or I'm going to go stranded. I'm not going to post any um, budget videos on TikTok or on, on YouTube anymore. Because those are clients that are getting the help they need. So guys, I really, really need you to take that um, into perspective. You guys can use the code YTFAMILY, um, which gives you guys a bigger discount since you watch the YT videos. So you can get the help you need. But for real, guys, please get the help you need. Do not wait till it's too late. I've done so many type of scenarios, different budgets, and I'm here to help you guys. So please look into it, whether um, you know, you're know you just trying to save, pay off debt. I have clients that are getting homes. I have clients that are reaching just everything they wanted to do, all because they met with me. So if you haven't, make sure in these this month imagine if we start september imagine what you could have done before january 1st do not wait till january 1st to book me we can make progress by then so you guys that is my fifth tip for this video i had to give a shout out because i've been seeing so ama so many amazing results in my clients and i'm so happy but keep in mind guys it only works if you work so you have to put in the work and you have to be consistent you guys my prices are very affordable you can get the help you need if you purchase a planner you can do your budget on the live stream and get help no one's gonna judge you guys i'm here to help and we want you to reach those goals so you guys so you guys, this is the last of this video. I'm so glad that you guys watched this. Now how you're going to enter the giveaway, you guys, I want you to go in the comments and I want you to tell me what tip you will be taking into consideration for these next four months, what tip I listed and what tip that you wanna share with someone else. So in the comments, you can say, hey, um, I like you know the sinking funds idea. 
um, this is something that I want to contribute for myself in the next um, couple months or just your goal to end the new year, you guys. So what tip you like for me, because I need to make sure you watch this video and y'all all can't comment the same way. And then I want you to also list your tip or what goal, you know, you want to achieve before the new year comes. And um, I just want to hear it. I want to hear all of it. I want to see what you guys are working on. I want to see how you feel. I want to see how... Um, I can probably make something to contribute to your goals to make it easier for you guys. So please talk to me in the comments and let me know. Um, we'll be doing, we'll be, I'll be announcing the giveaway winners on Sunday, you guys. I will not be posting a video on Saturday. I'm going to post a video on Sunday because we're going to be wrapping up our August budgets for the month. So it's the last month. So make sure you guys are sending me your debt payoffs. I will be doing client cam on Sunday. So every, all my clients has been paying off the debt. You guys will get a little, a little celebration on, um, the intro of my yt video how i always do so if you guys are new to the budget family welcome here i hope you stay um and make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe so like this video like this video comment your um comment the tip that you will be taking in consideration that you like that i said or the tip that you think will be helpful that i gave in the comments and then the thing you're going to be doing before the new year so you can reach your goals thank you guys again for watching i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Bye, budget babes.